A company claims that its Mega Portraits technology can generate megapixel-sized avatars from basic single-frame starting points. According to the team, their advancements addressed a particularly difficult challenge in which the look of the driving picture differs significantly from that of the animated source image. When the subject is a short-haired guy, it is far more difficult to pull off a successful deepfake of Angelina Jolie. The deepfakes of Tom Cruise that debuted on TikTok last year were so impressive because the subject resembled the famous actor and was able to mimic his gestures. It would have been significantly more difficult to develop a deepfake model of Cruz if the subject looked nothing like him. This approach appears to tackle that issue by allowing anybody to operate lifelike avatars that do not closely match the target. The researchers offer a series of new neural architectures and training methods that can use both medium and high-resolution image data to achieve the appropriate levels of projected picture quality and generalization to novel viewpoints in motion. Mega portraits, or megapixel portraits for short, are a technique for creating high-resolution human avatars. The model is trained in two steps, according to the researchers, but they have proposed a third stage to allow it to perform faster. The training environment is rather ordinary. At each stage, the team selects two random frames from the dataset, the source frame and the driver frame. In order to generate an output picture, the model superimposes the motion of the driving frame, for example, the head pose and facial expression, onto the appearance of the source frame. The major learning signal, on the other hand, is gained from training episodes in which the source and driver frames are from the same clip, and so the model's prediction is trained to match the driver frame. Even more astonishing is the team's ability to run this remarkably successful system in a compressed model that operates in real time. So let us know in the comments, how do you see this technology and how it can shape our future? Thanks for watching.